Got my oatmeal. It's a Skechers kind of day on the vlog. All right, here, come, come a little closer. Here we go. Here's the Max Road 5, everyone. Sandwiched in between the Razor Trail. Okay, we're taking the Razor Trail up uh, Gray's and Tories this morning. Actually, just Gray's this morning. Uh, but there it is. All right, what's inside this midsole? All right, I gave a pretty good score up right hand corner in case you missed. The 50, it went to 50 miles. I was kind of shocked. Skechers Max Road 5, 50 mile full review, upper right hand corner. But some people are asking, yes, over on Discord, what's inside the midsole? You know who you are. So we're going to figure it out here in a minute. But first, let's go get a little workout in. Up in the mountains. I never do this, everyone. We're skipping the whole filming process, going right to the top. This is where I train, all right. Hey, we're up? at the base of uh, Grays and Tories, not on top, meeting Sartek. Yep. Right, so thanks yeah. for watching, man. No problem. Since, how long have you been watching? When did, for how? like 2018, probably. But what shoe did you find? The Vaporfly. The Vapor, so he's he's original, man, like 5,000 subscribers, so yeah. that that's awesome. Yeah. Thanks for watching, this is yeah, thank Buddy you for Ben. Videos. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, have really fun. Inspiring. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm turning around, everyone. Desiree and who? Jason. Jason. Just moved from Texas to Colorado. Yeah. They said, D yeah. he said DGR strong a second ago, okay. so. Yeah. Course. Thanks for saying hi. Yep. Welcome to Colorado. Thank you. You're Give in us the motivation to get up there. Yes. Oh, that's awesome, for man. Sure. Yep. Oh man, as I always say, onward and upward, you know. Yeah. That's all we can do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for saying hi. For sure. I got to keep rolling because yeah. we're gonna go look at a house, everyone. So, all right, yes. all right. congrats. Congrats. You. congrats. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> man. Just get stronger. Just get stronger. <sighs> Epic. It was too windy to talk on top, so I'm talking about 200 feet below uh, the summit of Grays. Uh, I was passing Desiree and, and Ben, I think it was, and they said uh, DGR, but then they said good luck with a house search. And I wasn't gonna pull the camera out, but it's like, just like that little, like they're watching, like they, they're part of the journey that we're sharing here on YouTube. And so I just turned around and had to get them in the vlog. Love them. Again, welcome to Colorado. And yes, in about 11 days, just so you know, we're gonna start going fast in the 14ers it's not time yet but man the legs i'm not carrying any extra weight today the legs are just like ready to this it's too early 11 days from now roughly uh, i think 10 or 11. anyway um all right we're off to the next house hunt uh we'll just see you there okay oh yeah by the way again max road five if you didn't see the title at the beginning fast forward to that timestamp if you want to see the inside of the max road five all right See you at the house. And we're back, everybody. Okay, life is happening in full, full swing right now. I gotta be very efficient, taking apart the Max Road 5, running mountains, uh, trying to find that next house. Hold on, let me turn these lights on. And it's my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Sarah. So I only have about 20 minutes to open the shoe up, see what is inside that midsole, okay? And see why on demoreglobalrunning.com, I gave an eight, I just checked, I, I had forgotten that, that the score was this high. So the 50 mile full review for the Skechers Max Road 5, the final score, you guys know, is a great score, eight, 0.18 out of 10. Okay, check it out, demoreglobalrunning.com. Unbelievable, all right, let's open this up. Oh yeah, by the way, the house tours are happening still. Uh, we'll give you more house updates 
tomorrow. Sound good? All right, we've got someday at the new house, in the new studio, I'm gonna have better tools for opening up running shoes. But for now, you know, I gotta work with what I got. This is all I got. So let's figure out, let's see what's going on. It's always a question, where do I make the cut? Let's take out the sock liner, okay. Better quality sock liner for Skechers standards compared to, let's say, two years ago. I'm gonna say, like, it's not bad, that sock liner. Now, I've recommended this shoe to quite a few people, and the only, I would say, I don't know, maybe negative feedback that I've heard is that people uh, just have to get used to the pod technology on the outsole. Just feels a little different under step, but once you get used to it, it, I think it feels a little bit like that trampoline effect that you would also feel in the Nova Blast, whether it's the Nova Blast 1 or 2. Upper right hand corner for that Nova Blast 2 full review, which is, uh, from what I hear, is selling like hotcakes, that Nova Blast 2, which is should be shipping, right? It's July, it should be shipping, okay. Now let's just see if we can't remove this. So when I take shoes apart, I always have to say the disclaimer is that I save these pieces. I don't throw this away. Uh, rather than, you know, donating this shoe, which I could have done, of course, I save it for the archive so that we can compare technologies uh, between shoes and, frankly, the Max Road 6, the Max Road 7, 8, 9. I, 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 I'm going to save all of this for a long, 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 long time. Uh, just so. All right, here we go. Be careful out there. I've never cut open a Skechers, okay? So it's, you know, it's again, getting to know shoes better and better for all of you. When I talk about build quality and my durability predictions, this helps so much. I'm doing research right now because I, I can feel the material and how easily I can cut through it. Um, and I'm gonna say like this, I'll just say this compared to a Nike, which I've cut open in the past, as you know, feels a little bit easier to cut through. All right, it's coming off, so the upper, I'm trying to keep it intact. Feels like pretty high build quality back here. I think I'm gonna have to use this. Yeah, success! Wow! Okay, I'll get close-ups for all of you as well, but I'll try and put it on, wow, that was awesome! I mean, okay. I, everyone, regret a little bit the score I gave for the Skechers Go Run Ride 9. Skechers Go Run Ride 9 should have given it a, a higher score, okay? <laughs> After giving the final score, I, it, the upper, the upper, the upper on these Skechers shoes in 2021, I love them. I love them. And now taking this off, it just is, yeah, I can just sense Skechers is really evolving with their uppers. Love, love, love this upper. There it is. Okay, let's go into the midsole. I found it, everybody. There's the H plate. I believe that's it, right? The H plate. Oh my, my. And there it is. The inside of the Max Road 5 with half of the plate out. I'm actually not going to take the whole. Now, it's a, a, a nylon plate, not a carbon fiber. I'm going to say it's, it's more so for stability purposes and a little bit of energy return. I think the Hyperburst midsole technology is really where Skechers is making some solid progress. And I'll just got to comment real quick on build quality versus the weight of a shoe. It, it took me, I would say, 45 minutes to take apart the Nike Tempo Next Percent. So I'm going to say pretty, I think I gave it a pretty high in the upper right hand corner. Uh, if you haven't seen that from, I think it was a year ago when I took that shoe apart, roughly. Uh, higher build quality equals a heavier shoe. Lesser build quality, meaning you can take the shoe apart quicker, uh, it's going to be a lighter shoe. Now, it might not last quite as long, but if you're thinking about performance versus the durability and how long the shoe lasts, so it's kind of a give and take, and you just have to evaluate what you want most out of a shoe. And like Skechers is always known for being basically the lightest shoes on the marketplace and i'll probably i'll tell you right now the reason it broke into the eights for the final score for the max road five i remember like one of the reasons is because of the weight 
of this shoe. In the bounce and I, in the price point, I can remember it being solid as well. So there you go, there's the inside. I am very, also, look at these, it almost looks like, um, uh, cheese, what's that cheese, uh, not cheddar cheese, the cheese with holes in it, Swiss cheese. It looks like Swiss cheese there through the heel. Hopefully you can see that right there, right there, right there, okay, maybe. Um, and again, saving weight and creating a little more bounce. So I am impressed, Skechers. I gotta say, it was a little easy to pull apart, which is maybe a little concerning for build quality, but overall, very, very excited. Thanks for tuning in, Skechers Max Road 5. Pull Apart Reveal is now in the books. We will toss it, oh yeah, comment of the day on your screen right now. Okay, there's the comment of the day. Sorry, it's just like, this is life. Life is busy. There's the comment of the day. And then question of the day, um, I will think of one as well right now, okay? This is just how, <laughs> we're just a little bit of survival mode right now until we move. So there you go. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for being here. As always, we will of course toss it to the Nike Tempo Next Percent reveal. Nike Tempo Next Percent reveal right there, right there, right there. I don't know, was, it, was that a year ago? I think it was summer 2020, but I can't remember. Right there, right there, right there. All right, see beauty, work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.